Dear students, today we are going to study the continuation of the drama The Tempest written by William Shakespeare, Act 2, Scene 2. Let's go to the summary of the scene. Eleven enters with a lot of wood and thunder sounds in the background. Eleven curses and describes the torments that Perseus spirit subjects him to. They pinch, bite, and trick him, especially when he curses. As he is thinking of these spirits, Eleven sees Trungulo and imagines him to be one of the spirits. Hoping to avoid pinching, he lies down and covers himself with his cloth. Trungulo hears the thunder and looks about for some cover from the storm. The only thing he sees is the cloth covered Caliban on the ground. He is not so much repulsed by Caliban as curious. He cannot decide whether Caliban is a man or a fish. He thinks of a time when he travelled to England and witnessed three shows there. Caliban, he thinks, would bring him a lot of money in England. Thunder sounds again and Tringolo decides that the best shelter inside is beneath Caliban's top and so he joins the mad monsters there. Sorrow enters singing and drinking. He hears Caliban cry out to Tringolo, Do not torment me, oh! Hearing this and seeing the four legs striking out from the cloth, Sorrow thinks the two men are a four-legged monster a fever. He tries to relieve his fever with a drink. Caliban continues to resist Trungulo, whom he still thinks is a spirit tormenting him. Trungulo recognizes Stefano's voice and says so. Stefano, of course, assumes for a moment that the monster has two heads, and he promises to pour liquor in both mouths. Tringolo now calls out to Stefano, and Stefano pulls his friend out from under the clock. While the two men discuss how they arrived safely on shore, Caliban enjoys the liquor and gets to worship Stefano. The men take full advantage of Caliban's drunkenness, mocking him as a most ridiculous monster, as he promises to lead them around and show them the ice. Let's go to the scene at a glance. Continue the 